Primetime production of a dream play at Plymouth State University cast Nikki Morris and Cam Downing in lead roles. A warm reception from a sold out theater. But this day, they're performing for an audience of one. Hi, Pat. How Hi. you doing? I'm good. How are you? Nikki plays a patient in need of physical therapy. I was Pat Young, so she's a 25-year-old mother of four um, who has a shoulder problem. <laughs> And is that painful or is it? Um, not on this arm. This arm, I can't really lift. Painful it up. at the top. Painful as you go up. It's painful gradually as I go up. And so, like right here, right I can feel it. The stage, a classroom. The audience, a physical therapy graduate student. <laughs> you get this case. It's about six to eight pages long, and you have to really study the case and you have to do your research. Theater director Paul Morosca is part of a team at Plymouth State implementing the standardized patient training program. In essence, you are somebody who learns to be a certain type of patient with certain uh, an injury or a certain complaint or whatever. You have a certain type of character at that point, and you're going to interact with somebody who's in training clinically. All right, Pat, I'm bringing your arms back in. Good. It's where theater and healthcare come together as an effective teaching tool. The actors are trained to respond according to their malady, exposing the student clinicians to real world patient interaction. In an academic setting, you're just kind of learning and memorizing this uh, diagnosis will have this set of symptoms, but everybody's gonna be different. And personality wise, some people won't tolerate it as well. So I think it's, a really great experience. Each case helps the PT student develop hands-on skills and a good bedside manner. To practice the soft skills, to recognize the nuances of the changes in someone's expression as they're putting them through a test that is somewhat uncomfortable or an exercise that they're not quite grasping or understanding. Assistant Professor Kelly Legacy comes up with the cases. The student actors memorize lines just like for any character they play on stage, only this role is much less scripted. This is heavily, heavily based in improv, um, and there's a lot of thinking on your feet. Like Cam Downing's interpretation of pain, a toned down version from previous roles. What we were expressing was, ah, this is so painful, whereas it would really just be a slight discomfort, and we were just being dramatic actors. <laughs> they didn't understand the pain level. We're a little overacting to, overreacting to pain. Uh, and we got that back feedback from physical therapy students. Feedback is a crucial part of the program. You're very, very professional. Um, you explain every single exercise. If I could give any like critiques um, there wasn't much small talk things that you don't really think about in an academic setting while you're in the classroom but once you're in front of a patient they, they kind of tell you these things it makes, makes you really think about those those aspects of patient care the actors know the more realistic their characters the more prepared the PT student anything trip you up acting wise. I see nuance in their portrayals of the patients that that is really lovely and and believable and I see them developing you know a, a character and a rapport with the physical therapist which is really great. Although new to Plymouth State standardized patient training has been around for decades more and more schools and hospitals are now adding the program. Sean Collins, head of Plymouth State's physical therapy department, <laughs> believes students will thrive in this cutting edge training environment. Let's do a better job while we have them in school for three years as graduate students so that they're better able to go out and be independent clinicians. Whether feigning a sore shoulder, blown knee, or stiff neck, the actors don't expect applause at the end. They know the audience they regale. 
It's not for their own entertainment. It's not for them to get lost in the world of a play or whatnot. It's for them to gain experience.